everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope that you are all good. In today's video, we are gonna be doing a strawberry acrylic design. This suggestion was kind of given to me by one of my subscribers who suggested some fruity nails. And I've noted that down because I do wanna do a full on colorful fruity set. But I thought for today's video, I would do kind of like a strawberry milkshake vibe. So I really hope you all enjoy it watching. Now we are working on display tips, which I don't usually do acrylic nails anymore on these kind of display tips because I usually just use these for gel polish sets. I prefer doing my acrylic sets either on myself or on a practice hand but I've had a couple of questions recently how comes I've not been uploading as many acrylic sets predominantly that's what my channel used to have it was it was fairly just acrylic nails to begin with and then I started adding in a mix of gel polish and stamping and then it was a good variety of all three but recently the acrylic ones have there's been a lack of acrylic ones and that's just because I used to do either my acrylic designs on my Glamalis practice hand or on myself and my Glamalis has I've had her a very long time that practice hand I think a good four years roughly maybe three four years and she just has seen better days so she doesn't look great in videos anymore so I need a new practice hand and then doing long designs on myself is really tricky as I have to take them off for my job I can't get along with long acrylic nails on myself so I have ordered some more peel off base coat so that I can do some more long acrylic sets on myself and be able to take them off easily so as soon as that comes I'll jump back into doing some more acrylic sets on myself and then I have got my eye on a new practice hand as well I've been looking at one or two of the different ones from red iguana the one I originally wanted isn't in stock at the moment so I'm not sure whether to hold and wait for that to come in stock or just go for it and order one of the ones that is in stock because I'm impatient but yes more acrylic content will resume soon but for now I thought I would have a play around and try doing an acrylic set on some display tips but like I said I haven't done it I haven't done acrylics on display tips in a while because I find it quite fiddly like it's really hard in my opinion to do color blocking on these display tips filing on them is just a bit of a nightmare so we're just gonna see how it goes but I'm starting off as you can see I started off on the first nail I've just popped down some glitters and one of these little strawberry femo pieces and I'm leaving that to set and then we've been working on this now where we're just doing a simple pink and white ombre and then coming over the top with a little bit of glitter as well i will leave all of the products i've used in the description box below all of the acrylics today are from cjp the holographic glitter mix I used first is actually a CJP pre-mix glitter and then this matte hexagon mix is from Tali's Nala and the little strawberry Fimo pieces are from Tali's Nala as well. So on this now at the start as you see I applied the mix of glitters and the Fimo pieces and then I left it to set and that was because the Fimo piece I wanted it to make I wanted to make sure it stayed where I placed it down. And then I've allowed that to set and then I've come in with a CJP Milky Pink and we're gonna be creating a French over the top. So as you can see, I've placed my first bead down, I'm patting and pressing it out and then I'm trying to just mold this into the shape I want my smile liner to be. I kind of want it to have quite a deep smile line. So I was trying my best to push the acrylic and mold it into place, but I was struggling a little bit. I haven't done as many acrylic sets. And then I feel as though when I stopped doing acrylic for a while, I really find it hard to get back into the flow of doing it. This is why I, want, I don't want to have a too long break between uploading acrylic content because I'll lose the, I'll lose the progress that I've gained. But as you can see, I've ha I'm now happy with that smile line and I'm coming in with my next bead of acrylic and I've come in with this slightly wetter because I want it to blend over that glitter a little bit. I'm not stressing too much about creating too much of an ombre because it is going to cover up and give off that milky vibe anyway. So I'm just blending this back slightly and then pulling this down over the small line now bed area that we've created just to make sure it all blends in seamlessly and there's no shadow in. And then again, I'm just coming in as best as I can and cleaning up the smile line. I will file this into shape anyway, but I'd like to try and perfect it as much as I can with my brush. 
We're then gonna move on to the next now and I'm coming in with this beautiful pink. This pink is Too Fairy from CJP. So I've placed a small bead down at the cuticle area as we're gonna be doing a marble on this nail, but I just wanted to make sure I've got a nice neat cuticle line. Then I'm coming in with wet beads of Milky Pink Too Fairy and I think this one's called French Rose, but I'll double check, it's like a transparent pink. But I've placed those down, swirled my brush through them, pulled it down a little bit and then cleaned off the sides and I was really really happy with how this marble turned out usually I work in a lot of smaller beads with my marbles but I didn't want to add too much depth I wanted it to look I wanted to have this strawberry milkshake vibe so I quite liked how that turned out then we're coming in with that pre-mixed glitter again and then I'm just applying this down at the tip of the nail I had a little bit of fluff or something stuck in my brush there but I've placed this down and I'm keeping it nice and thin we're going to blend it back as we're going to be doing a hidden ombre so I don't want this to be too bulky because I want to come over the top with that raw glitter mix so this is a matte pink mix I can't remember the name of it but I'll double check and pop it in the description box below and then I'm just picking this up with a teeny tiny bead of clear acrylic and then allowing that to kind of set a little bit in place and then coming over the top a little bit with a little bit more of the premix sparkly glitter just because I want it to look as though they was all mixed together again I'm going to allow that to set so I don't pull my glitter around when I'm doing my ombre so we're going to move on whilst we're waiting for that to set and encapsulate the other two nails now to encapsulate these Fimo pieces you do need to work with quite a large wet bead of acrylic because they are quite chunky so I've come in with my first bead of acrylic made sure that I've encapsulated my tip and then I'm coming in with my next bead placing that roughly three quarters of the way down towards the cuticle area leaving the bulk of it there and leaving the bulk of it in the center of the nail as well because that's predominantly where those strawberries are and then I'm just pulling and walking this down towards the tip of the nail now I don't tend to use Fimo pieces too often because they are on a little the little bit of a chunky side so I do find that you need to be really careful because especially when you've got layered nail art underneath like the ombre and the glitters you can end up with a really bulky nail so you need to bear that in mind we're also going to come in and encapsulate our marble so I'm starting off with a large bead of acrylic down in that back third and then we're just walking this down towards the tip of the nail so as you can see I'm pressing my side walls of the acrylic into the center you kind of want to make sure you've got the bulk of your acrylic in that center spine of the nail and then I'm tilting the tip downwards so that gravity helps pull that acrylic down towards the tip of the nail and then I'm just using my brush in light feathery motions to make sure everything's nice and even and I'm happy with how the application is looking I'm making sure there's no lumps or bumps and then I did come in with another small bead at that cuticle area just to make sure that that was fully encapsulated as well even though the colors are core colors I just wanted to make sure there was enough thickness built up then we're going to jump back to this nail and finish off our ombre so I'm coming in with that milky pink and then we're just literally placing this down on the nail and blending it down over that acrylic keeping it nice and thin because we are going to fully encapsulate the nail and I wanted to make sure that it was a nice hidden ombre because I felt that that worked for the design that I was going for now although this color is milky pink it is more on the white side and I have added a little bit of of snow white in there as well so if you do purchase milky pink yourself it might look a little bit more pinker than my particular one here so here I just was adding a small amount of clear acrylic to this cuticle area just to make sure that the blend was encapsulated because I would forgot to do that when I'd applied the white acrylic and I just don't want to file into that blend or file off any of that glitter so just using a small bead of clear acrylic I've encapsulated that in and then I'm going to leave that to set before we file and finish off the French tip so we're going to come in again and fully encapsulate this now so same as before large bead of acrylic down in the back third of the nail pressing it in to the center of the nail and then gently patting and pulling it to walk it down to the tip of the nail you see there I had a bit of excess acrylic I pulled off and then the remaining excess acrylic I'm blending back because you don't need your tip of your nail to be really really thick you want your strength and structure built up in the back third for your apex of the nail and kind of going down the spine of the nail but you don't want a too thick tip the term that I always see used is you want it to be credit card thickness so bear that in mind then we're just going to come in with another small bead at that cuticle area 
And then here I just come in with another small bead here because there was a little dip and I like to try and get my acrylic application as even as possible as then there's minimal filing to do. So just popped a small bead down in that little dip just to smooth that out. Then off camera, I did file my French crisp because I had quite a bit of filing to do. And on these display tips, filing is a nightmare. I wasn't happy of how that French smile line went. So I did a lot of work with my file, which I don't normally like doing, but I did a lot of work just to get that a little bit more crisper, a little bit more symmetrical and neat. And then I dusted off all of the dust. And then we're gonna come in with that two fairy and just build up the entire tip of the nail with this. Now this is optional. You can just pop a thin layer of your colored acrylic down and encapsulate if your colored acrylic is a core powder so it will depend on the system you're working with these particular colors from cjp are core colors they don't need to be encapsulated so because i don't need my tip of my nail to be super thick or super chunky i'm just coming in and doing the entire french tip with that colored acrylic it doesn't matter if you go over the nail bed area because as you see once you've filed all of the nails you're going to file away that excess so I wanted to add a little bit of stamping to these nails and on the April showers plate from Miss Lucy UK, there is a larger layered strawberry nail art style now stamping image and then there are some little mini or one little mini strawberry image here as well so i decided i would put these on just to give the nails a little bit more dimension and add a little bit of stamping because i love stamping so to stamp i'm using my simply polished stamper my miss lucy scraper and i picked out these two stamping polishes so the pink is from cjs and the red is from nicole diary I always use my trusty lint roller to clean up my stamper so i have have that to hand as well so we're going to go in with a layered image first of all so a generous amount of stamping polish a scrape quick flick of the wrist with your stamper using that lint roller to remove the excess and then we're going to press down give it a little wriggle and pull off and then we have the base of our strawberry down. We're gonna clean off the stamping plate with a little bit of acetone, and then we're gonna add on the outline in the red. So again, a generous amount of stamping polish, scrape, quick flick of the wrist to pick up that image, remove the excess from your stamp part, as I personally find this a lot easier than removing it from the nail. And then we're just gonna line that up, press down a little wriggle, and I thought it looked super, super cute. Again, we're gonna clean off the plate because I wanna use a couple of those little mini strawberries as well. So I'm gonna come in and do these, both of these in the pink. Now I do have loads of more in-depth stamping tutorials up on my channel, so I will leave this stamping playlist linked somewhere, either at the end of the video or in the description box below. So do check that out if you're looking for more in-depth stamping videos. But I love stamping. I really am loving the range of Miss Lucy UK plates as well for a small UK business she is smashing it bringing out some really unique designs they are all hand drawn by herself which is so fun in my opinion it's and it's great to be part of her community as well as one of her brand artists so I do have a discount code which gets you 10% off if you order from there she does also do water decals as well I am planning on doing a set using some of her water decals as well soon so I should have that up on my channel kind of towards the end of spring summer because i've got a bit of a design in mind and i'm trying to plan ahead with content as well so on the marble now i didn't want to cover up the marble too much because i really liked how it looked so i just used the outlines of those larger strawberries on that, that one and then on the french i'm just going to add on two of the little strawberries because again this has got the strawberry fimo pieces on there so i didn't want to go too ott with the strawberries but i do love adding stamping to a french French. And there you see my tip decided to just go flying off the stand. I only had them stuck on with a little bit of blue tack, which wasn't really doing a very good job. But we're just going to finish up with one more little strawberry down near the larger Fimo piece. I just wanted to add this one in. I thought it looked quite cute. And then that is the stamping finished. So this was quite a fun design to do. It's very, very cutesy. I'm not sure if it's a design I'd wear myself, but it was fun to do. All that's left to do is to come in and top coat. So I'm going to use the CJP Attack Free Top Gloss. And I start off, I was applying this way too thick. I haven't used this top coat in a while and I forgot that it's on the thicker consistency compared to other top coats that I use. So I come in first of all and it is a little bit too thick. So you might see me wiping off my brush. I think it's on the second now here. Yeah, I was like, whoa, that's a lot of top coat. So I wiped off my 
I wiped off some of that excess top coat back into the bottle. You want to make sure that when you are applying your top coat, you are only applying a thin coat, especially when you especially to make sure it's going to cure properly. I lost my train of thought there, but yes, a thin coat is all that is needed. And as you can see, it has a beautiful high shine to this one as well. I do quite like this top coat. I just only tend to use it when I'm working with the CJP acrylic system, as I do try my best to use a full system. It does require a 60 second cure. So I'm going to pop that in to cure for 60 seconds. And this guys is the finished result. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I would love it if you could leave me some acrylic request as well because as soon as I get the peel off base coat I'm going to be back doing some acrylics on my own nails thank you all so much for watching if you did enjoy today's video please do give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below and I shall see you all again in the next one I hope you're all having an amazing week lots of love take care bye bye